Chapter 7, Lesson 3, Triangles. You will be able to identify and classify triangles and find missing angle measures. A triangle is a figure with three sides and three angles. The symbol for triangle is a little triangle. Every triangle has at least two acute angles. One way you can classify a triangle is by using the third angle. Another way to classify a triangle is by their sides. Sides with the same length are congruent segments. So these three triangles right here are being classified by their angles. And these last three are being classified by their sides. So a triangle will have two classifications, one by their angles and one by their sides. We have an acute triangle where all three angles are acute. A right triangle has one right angle. An obtuse triangle has one obtuse angle. Their sides now. A scalene triangle has no congruent sides, meaning these lengths are all different of their sides. An isosceles triangle has two congruent sides, and that's indicated by these dashes. The way I remember isosceles is the first sound. It sounds like I. You have two eyes. Two eyes, two sides. So that's the way I remember isosceles has two congruent sides. An equilateral triangle has three congruent sides, and I can see that from the prefix equal. Okay? So equilateral, all sides are equal or congruent. Use a straight edge and a protractor. Draw a triangle with one obtuse angle and no congruent sides. Then classify the triangle. I'm just going to use a protractor here because there is a straight edge right on the right um, on the bottom of the protractor. So I'm going to start off by drawing a line segment using the straight edge portion of the protractor. Now you can absolutely use a ruler if you feel more comfortable drawing straight edges with a ruler. We need to then make an, an obtuse angle. Now there are two different types of protractors. Actually there are several different types with two major types. Now this one right here, your zero line is on the bottom. Whereas this protractor, your zero line is up a little and you have a hole here where your end point needs to go. So make sure you're aware of which protractor you have. So I'm going to use this one. I find it easier to line it up when they're on the bottom. So line up one end point on the zero and your line segment should be lined up on the bottom of that protractor. I need an obtuse angle. So I'm going to start by using the smaller numbers because I'm starting at zero. So I need obtuse. Obtuse is any angle greater than 90 less than 180. So pick any measure and put a dash. From here, you're going to connect the dots using your straight edge. One of the other criteria is that no sides are congruent. So let's do some quick measuring here. That's a little bit more than three and a half centimeters. And this line segment is about five centimeters, so they are not the same. So far, so good. Now this is an obtuse angle. To make this a triangle, what you're going to do is line up your straight edge with the two remaining endpoints and connect them. Just to make sure I have all three different side lengths. Looks like this longer side is roughly seven centimeters, so they all are different. And I would classify this as an obtuse triangle and a scalene triangle. Obtuse because it has an obtuse angle, scalene because no sides are congruent. Draw a triangle with one right angle 
and two congruent sides. So we'll move over a little bit on the paper. Again, we're going to start with a line segment. I need a right angle. A right angle measures 90 degrees. So line up your protractor appropriately and measure 90 degrees. Put a dash at the 90 degrees. And actually, I'm going to extend this line segment a little bit more here. Now, I need two congruent sides, so I need to know the length of this line segment. The length of this line segment is a little more than four and a half, so I'm going to make it exactly four and a half uh, by erasing a little bit. Close enough to four and a half. Now, I have a line segment here, or a dot here, that I need to create a line segment with. I want it to be four and a half. So line it up as if you were to connect the dots. Now four and a half is less than where my dot is. So I'm just going to draw my line up to up until I get to four and a half. It's okay that you did not go all the way up. That's perfectly fine. We needed two congruent sides, and I'm going to indicate that with the dashes. We also know that this is a 90 degree or right angle, so I will indicate that it's 90 degrees by putting that dash there. And of course, to make it a triangle, connect the two endpoints remaining. And this is a right triangle and an isosceles triangle. Classify the triangle on the house by its sides. Well, we have here a triangle that has two congruent sides, so I know it's isosceles. And also, it looks like it has an obtuse angle, so it is isosceles and obtuse. Letter D. It appears that we have a right triangle, and I don't have any dashes here indicating that the sides are congruent, so this is a scalene triangle as well, where no sides are congruent. Angles of triangle, of a triangle. The sum of the angle measures of a, in a triangle is 180 degrees. All the angles add up to 180 degrees. So here what I'm going to do for letter Z, for angle Z, I'm going to, it's my unknown amount here, so I'm going to make this a variable X. Okay, actually I'm going to choose and instead, because I have an angle X, so let's choose N instead. And I'm not going to be able to write that in, so we'll just label it here. What you need to do to find a missing measure is add up the three angles. N plus 119 plus 43 equals 180 degrees. Because all the measures of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. From here, we are just solving the equation. Well, I'm going to combine my like terms here. 119 plus 43 is 162. Bring down everything else. Subtract 162 from both sides. We get N equals 18. So the measure of angle Z is 18 degrees. Letter B. In triangle ABC, if the measure of angle A is 25 degrees and the measure of angle B is 108 degrees, what is the measure of angle C? You do not need a drawing to help you figure this out. 
it's still the same process. You have three angles, and this time I'll call measure of angle CX. We have our 25 degree angle plus our 108 degree angle plus our unknown angle. Add them up, and they equal 180 degrees. Combine like terms, and we get 133 plus X equals 180. Minus 133, and we get X equals 47. So 47 degrees is the measure of angle C. Letter C. The Alabama state flag is shown. What is the missing measure in the triangle? They are referring to this triangle right here. We have 35 degrees plus 110 plus X equals 180 degrees. Combine like terms. 35 plus 110 is 145 plus X equals 180 degrees. Subtract 145 from both sides and we get X equals 35. So 35 degrees. Letter D. A triangle is used in the game of pool to rack the pool balls. Find the missing measure of the triangle. 60 plus 60 plus X equals 180. Combine like terms. 120 plus X equals 180. Subtract 120. X equals 60. So 60 degrees. Letter E. Find the measure of angle T in triangle RST if the measure of angle R equals 37 degrees and the measure of angle S equals 55 degrees. Again, we don't need a diagram here. I know it's a triangle. So add up the sides, 37 plus 55 plus, we'll call angle T X, equals 180 degrees. Combine like terms. 37 plus 55 is 92. Bring down the rest of the equation. Minus 92 from both sides. And we get X equals 88. So 88 degrees. Letter F. Find the value of X. Now here we have only two measures, X and 30 degrees. However, we are given that box, which tells me it's a right angle, which tells me this is 90 degrees. So X plus 90 plus 30 equals 180. Combine like terms. X plus 120 equals 180. Minus 120. X equals 60, so 60 degrees. 